Aren't you afraid that African men will kill you for trying to empower their women? Aren't you afraid? That is a question that one of my cousins asked me in 2017. And I didn't really take time to think about that question. I was spending time with her. And um, two hours, we were talking about this African woman empowerment and stuff like this. And then I drove off to the airport, got on a plane, flew back to America. It is only now, 2024, that I've been sitting with myself and I asked myself, that question popped up in my head. Aren't you afraid that... African men are going to kill you for trying to empower their women. She said it in Zulu like this. Meaning, these men are going to kill you. <laughs> woman we live in so much fear we live in so much fear we live truly in so much fear that we don't even actually understand how much fear is running us this is the power of rest this is the power of rest you see, rest allows you to, to download your purpose and sit in your purpose long enough that it, it, it activates in every cell of your body, every cell of your being. And whatever fear that blocks your purpose, that fear is, is felt on such a deep level that you think to yourself, whoa, hang on a moment. Like, why am I petrified at this moment from a fear that, was projected onto me that probably has nothing to do with me. You know what I love and I'm grateful for about the Japanese people? The Japanese people taught me how to say, not my business, not my problem. Not my business, not my problem. We have so much fear as women. We carry so much fear in 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 at at, at a cellular level, at a cellular level. I don't even think it's only women. I think it's also the men. The men carry a lot of fear and this is why they love control. But we, as women, carry so much fear. I've had to sit with myself this whole year and, and just work on my fears. Just, you know, just work on my fears. And the more I'm willing to give myself time to allow these fears to come up where I feel them in my body and I start shaking and I say, this is real bizarre. The more I am liberated. <laughs> the more I am liberated. The more I am liberated. The more you can give yourself permission to feel your fears, the more you can unlock your fifth chakra, and start to speak your truths. Your truths are power, woman. Your truths are power. Lies, not power. Fake, not power. Manipulation, not power. Deceit, not power. Truth is power. Truth is power. Truth is power. But I had to sit with myself and say, wow, for all these years, I have had this unconscious fear because of the conversation I had with my cousin and this one sentence aren't you afraid that African men will kill you for trying to liberate their woman I had to dissect each word of that sentence and I said to myself number one I'm not Jesus I'm not here to liberate or save anybody number two my only purpose here on planet earth is to work on my own consciousness to a point where I fear nothing Thing. nothing because we have not been given a spirit of fear but of power 
of love and of a sound mind. So if I'm in fear, that means I do not have a sound mind. If I'm in fear, that means I'm not in love because these two emotions that truly run us here on planet Earth, fear and love, fear and love. We have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, of love and of a sound mind. So anybody who brings ideas of fear into my life have no place in my life. But as women, we like groups. We like groups. Yeah, hey girl, let's help each other. Okay, I understand this. We must help. Must we? Yes, it is important that we become seed planters. Just plant the seed, plant the seed, plant the seed and keep, keep it pushing. But if somebody, your friends, your girlfriends, your so-and-so, your so-and-so, your mother is bringing just a lot of energy of fear... And they are unwilling to work on this fear. And they want you to carry their fears for them, with them. You have got to say, no, 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 no. I have not been given a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, a sound mind and clear thinking. So you and your fears, please, not my business, not my problem. There is a difference between loneliness and isolation. And we as women are so afraid of self-isolation. And it is only in self-isolation where you can actually remember the conversations you have had with people. The projections people have placed onto you. The fears that they have projected onto you that are stopping you from living the life you are truly here to live here on planet Earth. Yes. Yes. Self-isolation has been the most healing experience for me. Because it has helped me work on my own fears. Say, but this is not my stuff. I have never been afraid. I, I was out on the streets of Johannesburg, one of the most dangerous cities in the world, by myself at 17 years old. Since when am I having these strange fears? These are not my things. Not my business, not my problem. Self-isolation is power. It is power on steroids. It is power. Woman, let us spend time by ourselves. Let us stop going around trying to... Oh, I have a snake again. Let us stop trying to go around putting ourselves in this group, that group, that group, this group, that group. Hey friend, this, this. Because we are afraid to look within. Within is the power. Within is the, is the vision. Within are the dreams that you came into this life experience with. Within is the strength to fulfill those dreams. Within within it has taken me this long this long to face that one fear that had nothing to do with me in the beginning aren't you afraid that these men are going to kill you if you try to empower the woman i had to dissect that sentence one sentence dissected word for word for word for word and i said i am not jesus I am not here to save anybody, to heal anybody, to do anything. I am here to plant a seed. And in planting that seed, may the God in you, may the energy of wholeness in you, may the wisdom of the universe in you activate to a point where you heal yourself, you free yourself from fear, you, you follow your dreams, you do what you need to do no matter how difficult it is. Because I have to do that for myself. I have had to do that for myself in the past and no we are not carrying each other we are all walking sovereign sovereign this has been empowering this has been a game changer and it continues to be a game changer because i was like wow carrying other people's fears carrying other people's low self-esteem carrying other people's things why? I have my own low self-esteem. I have my own fears. I have my own troubles. One sentence. 
One sentence. Actually, it's three sentences that I've come to understand. You are a person only because other people say you are a person. I had to dissolve that idea. Second idea. What are people going to say about me? What do you care what people are going to say about you? People are always going to speak about you because this is the nature of human gossiping. This is the nature of human gossiping. Number three. Aren't you afraid that these African men will kill you for trying to liberate their wives or their women? I am not Jesus. I cannot save nobody. I cannot heal nobody. I can do nothing. I am just a farmer here to plant seeds. May those seeds grow in you. May they activate a power in you where you remember that you are the face of divinity. This is all I'm here to do on planet Earth. Work on your fears, woman. Spend every one hour a day to work on a fear. Find a fear and, and question that fear. Who gave me this fear? Why is this fear relevant? There are only two emotions that, sh that really um, drive human consciousness, love and fear. If I believe this, am I truly in love? And if you are into the Bible, remember the scripture. I have not been given a spirit of fear, but of what? Love. Right? Sound thinking. Power. So this fear has no place in my life. And if this fear has no place in my life, what am I willing to do? I have had to be, I have had to be asking myself that question. Not proper English, but who cares? And I'm like, sure. The fears I have been carrying. And as I release these fears, I'm just like, damn. <laughs> Life is good. Don't carry other people's fears. These fears have nothing to do with you. Do not carry other people's fears. I am showing you that you can dissect your own fears. And everything else, not your business, not your problem. I hope that this has inspired you. Today I'm not yelling, yelling. Mindful Monday. Let it inspire you to work on your own fears and stop being bothered by other people's business, other people's problems, other people's dramas. It has nothing to do with you. Work on your own fears, woman. Okay? Thank you so much for listening. Bye!